Hi, I'm Walt with West Palm Dog. I'm here with Pepe, and what we're working on is circles of control. So we're starting with leash walking, the very, very basic aspect of it. One, I have, I'm going to keep him on my left side. Two, I have a training collar. Why am I keeping him on my left side? Because I don't want the crossing behavior where he thinks he can just cross in front of me or cross behind me. We're going to eliminate that by keeping him on the left side. Three, I'm going to be walking in circles where I'm going to be cutting into his path. What this does is it changes his idea of what is happening with me. It could be that in his past he thought that he just decides wherever we're going to walk and he just pulls you down the road. What I'm teaching him right now is that my trajectory is where we're heading. So it's a pretty big shift. So we're going to try that out. Let's go. So I'll give him a correction if he gets too far ahead. And then you see how I'm taking these tight left turns. And what happens is that he's forced to pay attention to where I'm going. And then now I'll walk a little bit straighter and turn. Yep, turn. So what I'm doing with him is I'm completely changing the expectations of a walk. He thinks he gets to go on a walk, he gets to run in a straight line and pull me down the road. I'm walking like a drunk person. But what's happening is he's starting to respect my trajectory. And he realizes, starting to realize, that where I go is where he's supposed to go, not the other way around. This takes time. It's completely different than what he was expecting. But he needs this kind of work and he needs it consistently for him to understand, oh, this is how we walk. There are consequences when I do it the wrong way. And also, there are positive consequences when I do it the right way. Like, for example, taking a treat. The boy. So, that's how we start leash walking, with that very fundamental concept. I'm dictating where we go, not the other way around.